Welcome to Josh Johnson Show. I'm Josh Johnson, joined by my co-host, fellow stamp comedian Logan Nielsen. Logan, how you doing, buddy? I am doing well, man. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. You know, I'm excited for today. Today's been on my mind for quite a while. <laughs> why is that? Tell the people why you're. Uh... Okay, so if talk you... a little bit louder. Sorry. Okay, if you remember, we embarked on an adventure <laughs> a few episodes ago, um, a porta potty adventure. And we asked listeners to write in with how they think the sequel would go. You know, the sequel to uh, the film that we have yet to make. Mm -hmm. And I always find that the best films think way ahead of budgeting, casting, all that stuff. And they just write out all two or three movies yeah. initially. And so that's what we're here to do. We They always say, don't, yeah, don't write to your limitations is what yeah, they say. Yeah, yeah. Write to... Um, right to, to like the very edge of your imagination. Yeah, right to the crimes you want to commit <laughs> on your audience. <laughs> so, we, I'm, I'm going today, through and starring them right now, and I will say, Josh, we've got quite a few. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be reading what you wrote in as far as uh, sequels to the Porta Potty adventures. Okay. Should we, you want to take turns reading these two? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Okay. You want me to go first or you want to go first? Um, you should probably go first. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, five, six, seven. I've got eight here right now. Oh, geez. Uh, <laughs> oh, geez. So I want you to just pick one through eight and I'm just going to, I'm going to go with one okay. of those. I haven't, I have not read these yet. So if they suck, it may get edited out. So um, just letting you know that now. One. One. Okay. I'm going to start right up here then. <laughs> Like I said, I did not read these. This one's mostly just title. So I like this because the this is from Vincent. And the title of this email is Two Porta, Two Potty, colon, Tokyo Skid. <laughs> <laughs> and all the email says, <laughs> it just says, in this one, the shit really hits the fan. And that's it. Like I said, I hadn't, I hadn't read these yet, but that's all it says. That's so funny. <laughs> wow. Points to the title, though. Yeah, points I like to the that. title. I'm I like actually, that. Let me see. I'm going to pull up just really quick for people listening now. It's not that many episodes back, but if you are looking for context to this episode... Um, it's JJS number 117 Porta Potty, a true crime story is where this all yeah. started. And so these are sequels, projected oh, sequels. Yeah. I guess to we that. Did, maybe didn't explain it. Do we need to cover it all what the story was? You just pitched the idea of a murderer who blows up toilets at every crime scene. And then I believe it devolved into really just a man. <laughs> I mean, it's actually best to not recap it because okay. I feel like it would just lead to confusion. Um, okay. only, only because none of this, none of it, none of it that we've read, none of it that we will read, none of it that we've said <laughs> is happening. Right. You know? Yeah. So basically just, we try to make our show as evergreen as possible, but, mm -hmm. but basically if you want to, this is a true sequel. You, yeah. You got to see the first one. This yeah, isn't, this yeah. isn't some Marvel shit. We're going to recap a bunch of movies up top to yeah. try to make sure you're with us. Sorry. We Cause don't do I that. think what we would actually do. This is Lord of the Rings do, too. You better have seen the first one. We would accidentally take as long as the first episode took <laughs> to explain it <laughs> and write our own sequel while we're doing it. Um, okay. Do you want to read one or do you, since that was a short one, do you want me to do another one? <laughs> um, I can read one. Okay. Uh, so here, all those, all those highlighted ones. Go ahead, uh, choose your own adventure there. All the highlighted ones. Do I okay. sound okay? I feel like my mic sounds. Does it sound good to you? I mean, you sound so different to me than you must sound to yourself. Okay. We should actually switch headphones so you can see what I mean. Because <laughs> you, you're telling me to like talk louder, and you're telling me, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I swear to you that well, I know. I asked you to talk louder because you were coming up low. No, that. no, I, I, I feel like both of us are yelling right now. Really? In my ears? Yeah. Yeah, my, my my headphones. Just once I plugged yours in, I we, we can switch if you want. Because I would much rather hear less than hear what I'm hearing right now. Well, you don't have to wear them if you don't want to. Yeah, I but just... clearly you you should wear so you can hear what. The, no, these the... won't reach to you though. All right. 
This is a shorter. Okay. I'm just saying this is a shorter chord. You're far away from. I don't know. I'm, I'm saying, with you. You don't gotta like be angry about my I'm, logistics I'm not angry of measurements. At all. I'm not angry at all. Uh, <laughs> this one, let's see. I'm just gonna. Okay. That's all staying in. This is coming from. Do Do you say the name? Usually, because I try not to say the name unless they say the name in the email. I tend to, whatever they sign off or I tend to just work in like a first name. There is no is sign off. So um, this came from someone with the first name Bria. Uh, and they that's know. all we know. Hello. Have you never listened to our show? And no, how no, I no, read no. the emails? No, I, know how, I know I read the emails, but this, this is the our... first time in a long time where there's just <laughs> nothing to go on. Except the actual this is, this email. Is our, our 122nd episode. And you're like, do we even, do we say names? No, no, I know we, we say even? names, but this might be a real name. And I, as long as I don't say the last name, then I think we're good. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, but you're like, oh, when I say the name, and it, it's, it's, it's a lot. Hello, J-Lo. I would love to dance with the idea that the two men Anna had unfortunate dinner dates with were actually in collaboration Enter oh the porta potty dynamic daters, PPDDs. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's that's a that's wow. a truly it, it's barely a deep cut, but it's a medium cut. So I'm, there's two worlds colliding now. Yeah. So someone has written in, and they've combined Anna, who has sent us uh, like emails chronicling the dates that she went on that were horrible and mm -hmm. and what we came up with for the porta potty adventures uh the true crime story so a lot is happening right now the, yeah. the email reads foot fetish scares his target into excusing themselves to the bathroom so they can escape an embarrassing situation and then boom gray man strikes Oh, also the title. This is this is my bad, actually. the The title subject line of this email was "Foot Fetish and Gray Man as the Porta Potty Villains." So that's why it makes sense that yeah, it's the yeah. Anna and the other thing. Yeah, um, this is why I don't let. I mean, I want him to read emails more, but that makes sense why he doesn't now. Boom! Gray Man strikes. Gray goes BDSM on the bathroom, and together the boys would move from restaurant to restaurant, humiliating their victims, greatly inconveniencing the janders and staff of the restaurant and stumping the detectives and police on their trail. Can I say right now that uh, going BDSM on a bathroom is a thing I'm going to start saying? Yes. Be not like, man, I, ate, I ate a lot. I'm about to go BDSM on this bathroom. Really, it's about to be gray, man. I really don't like that. It's about to be 50 shades of oh no in it's, here. It's really upsetting. Um, <laughs> I couldn't help putting these two stories together. As I've been playing catch up on your most recent episodes, all conspiracy theories slash stories aside, I wish the best to everyone involved in these stories. <laughs> Yeah, whether whether the story is real or fake, I just hope everyone's fine. Uh, and to Anna, I hope you find a man who treats you right. Absolutely love the show. Thank you both for all that you do. Well, thank you, Bria. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank and you. thank you for adding an extra layer that I didn't see coming. Maybe yeah. there is some sort of extra person that besides mm. the main villain in the sequel you know well maybe it's too maybe what we find out is that the killer the murderer that the the detective is chasing he is following the man who is having the bathroom troubles to cover up his own crimes you know what i mean to lead the police after him mm. Mm. you know what i mean yeah i i think as, i know what you mean you know it's like he's trying to as a scapegoat a little bit mm -hmm. i like that yeah, let's keep it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it. <laughs> yeah, after each of these, let's decide if it's staying in or not. Yeah, let's just keep it in there. Okay, this one here. Okay, this one's a little bit longer. This is from Sid, and the title is Porta Potty Sequel. Hi, Josh and Logan. It's Sid. You know, the guy who said Logan wasn't fat that one time? Oh, God, that was funny. That was very funny. That was we one of the funniest in, things a listener has ever said to me. We were in Rosemont in, in, <laughs> outside of Chicago. And we had just done a show together, a stand-up show, not a not a live podcast. Yeah, just just stand up. And uh, this guy is coming up, talking to us. We're having a quick chat, and uh, as we're chatting, <laughs> he's very complimentary of our sets and everything. Yeah. And then, um, kind of out of nowhere, like right as we thought 
we were about to all part ways. He turns to Logan and he's like, "You're not like fat like you make yourself seem." I believe he, I believe the, the exact wording was. I was expecting you to be a lot fatter because of how you talk about yourself or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds more correct. It was something like that. It was it was a compliment. He was being kind of being like, listen, you're hard on yourself. Mm-hmm. You aren't that fat. But it <laughs> to just say I was expecting a fatter man. Yeah, yeah. Also, when Won't you feel say, great either way. Yeah, when you say that, you are saying fat. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like when people say something's not that bad. It's like, so you're admitting it's bad. You're, yeah, you're admitting it's not great. You're just saying it's not as bad yeah. as people have made it seem. Ooh, thought this would be worse. Is what yeah. You, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Which which was still, I could tell it came out wrong even yeah. when he said it. Um, it's like we have a lot of listeners who come to shows now and they don't, you know, they know your stand-up, but they don't really know my stand-up. And they'll be like, they're like, oh, man, like, I didn't know what to expect. And like, you're funny, too. And I know they're being complimentary. Mm-hmm. That wording doesn't feel great because it means yeah. they went in maybe expecting me to suck, or or just like not really knowing what the show would be. Right? You know, yeah. Like maybe they thought that we'd just be up there together. Yeah, that we'd be together. I'd just be off to the side, just laughing at your jokes. I wonder if what they <laughs> imagine it's going to be. I have nothing. Yeah, they I have thought no they'd be sitting still. next to you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I loved hearing the process of you guys coming up with a whole movie script on on the fly in the Porta Potty Killer episode. I like coming up with stories too, so here's my shot at a sequel with a twist at the end. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, here we go. <laughs> the retired detective is woken up in the middle of the night by a phone call from the police chief. The chief is asking him to come to a new crime scene despite his retirement. It looks like the Porta Potty Killer is back. At the crime scene, there is a new detective who can't stomach the mess. Three three dead, four in critical condition, and six stalls out of commission. That sounds like the friend, like Pablo Francisco way of describing the movie. <laughs> like when you list it like that. Three dead, four in critical condition, and six stalls out of commission. <laughs> the old detective suspects next of kin... But the killer's son and daughter are both clear. (laughs) The son hates his dad and is all too happy to see him in prison. And his daughter hasn't seen him since since she left with her mother, his ex-wife, nine years ago. It's it's like when you hear it as more than just a sentence at a time, it's so funny. Because imagine if if the narrator guy from the trailer really was the guy the entire time. Like the full Morgan Freeman guy. (laughs) You either get busy living or get busy dying. (laughs) Poor Andy had to crawl through a hundred yards of human shit. Do you want me to keep doing the voice? Yes, please. <laughs> the detectives go visit the potty killer in prison. It says potty killer, which I know porta potty killer is already funny, but potty killer just seems silly. I like it. The detectives go visit the potty killer in prison and get his input. He says there's only one person who could do such damage. Potty killer does sound like he's four. It does, yeah. <laughs> his nephew. A skinny, athletic kid who's lactose intolerant. (laughs) A skinny, athletic kid who's lactose intolerant and has the metabolism of the flash. He has a twisted mind and... (laughs) He has a twisted mind and digestive system that can eat anything and it runs right through him. And he's always admired. A twisted mind. <laughs> a twisted mind and digestive system. Oh, and his stomach's in knots. <laughs> <laughs> and he's always admired the potty killer. <laughs> As they're told this, the news reports show another incident. This time, <laughs> an entire bathroom was taken out and there were two deaths. 
<laughs> the killer tells them that there must be a mastermind behind the incidents because his nephew isn't that smart and they should look for them first. <laughs> yeah, my nephew a fucking idiot, so. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he violent, but he's dumb. Look, 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 when I tell you that he, he ran into some nails when he was little and one of them went right into his head, he not all there. <laughs> At the latest crime scene, the new porta potty killer leaves a new calling card. <laughs> In parentheses, a literal card taped to the wall <laughs> that says, "You'll have a, <laughs> you'll have a punbersome mess cleaning up this case." The new detective gasps, now knowing the mastermind behind the new line of crimes is the Punisher. Which I believe is my <laughs> alter ego. Josh is not enjoying this anymore because now there's puns. The old detective calls the police chief asking if he had info on this Punisher guy. Chief says he's heard of him and knows just the guy to catch him. The scene changes to a cryotherapy room with a man in the chamber on his phone. Chief, hey, you busy? Man, what do you think? Chief, ah, right. Well, I hope you're good and charged because we need your help. With? He's back. With help. This time, we need you to put him on ice. Man <laughs> makes angry grunt noise. <laughs> Chief, I mean, we need you to put him down for good. Man with ice powers who hates puns. It'll cost you double for that slip up. Man with ice powers who hates puns hangs up phone and steps out of cryotherapy ready to take down the Punisher. Wow. What? Yeah, but what happened to the movie accent bit of way through? Did you just drop it? Oh, no. Cause, just... Sorry, I was doing voices because it brought, but I did drop oh, it. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. But it was doing different characters. I, it felt weird to be like, Chief, hey, you busy man. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> that seemed weird for them to just have the same. <laughs> So now, okay, this is one of the most intricate callbacks episode now. Yeah, someone has, like, really listened a lot. This is now, like, six episodes of lore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we should be careful to, like, only do this once in a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, this is... <laughs> this, if this is anyone's first episode, yeah. they're lost. They are absolutely lost. Yeah. They have no idea what we're talking about. Because now the... Because now it's you and me and our alter egos are now characters in yeah. this movie. Yeah. How do you feel about that? that no, it's fine. You, it's seem, just, you seem concerned. No, no, but it's like, it's like I don't, yeah, I, I can't even tell you which episodes to go to for some of these. You know how when you mm -hmm. really start following comic books when you're a kid and they're like, oh yeah, the Hulk <laughs> first appeared. Because the Hulk was never in like just Hulk right, 1. Yeah. The Hulk was in like Action Comics 7. Right, yeah, exactly. And so now you have to go back and read Action Comics 7 yeah. to see. And then even when you go back to Action Comics 7, it's not really the Hulk. It's like Bruce Banner getting like upset that his coffee order's wrong. Yeah, I think you literally... So, okay, so that... Uh, so the 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 man with ice powers who hates puns and the Punisher, I believe their first appearance was number one sixteen Joshi on ice. The porta potty killer was the next episode in one seventeen. The porta potty a true crime story. I think we talked about all of that again in Fifty Shades of Yellow. So like the last four episodes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. at least or i guess there's gonna be a thanksgiving episode in there too so we'll make sure to not talk about anything lore wise <laughs> yeah <laughs> the thanksgiving episode all right all right uh we got a few more there your turn this next one is from maggie and it's uh it just entitled porta potty getting right to the point right to it the the email reads short not sweet <laughs> 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 cop who retired has unleashed all the pent up emotions and well shit now can't stop becomes the guy he arrested in all the facets oh. you went through in the show because he has cop skills and has been close to criminals his whole career he is much more convincing and good at what he does he is the true marathon poop cop <laughs> mm. 
using your list of how to be a good criminal with a few new ideas of his own. And again, it's all about the poop. <laughs> he isn't trying to kill anyone, but he targets the people he has arrested in the past but couldn't make charges stick. This, this will stick. <laughs> Revenge has never smelled so bad. <laughs> now that is interesting, though. Yeah. I don't know if a movie's ever done that where the sequel is the, the, cop, the, the, the cop, cop who is the cop <laughs> really snapping. <laughs> it's the cop who put him away. That would be like if they did a sequel to Seven and it was Morgan Freeman just like shit. How about Eight? And yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or just like an a, a, like an actual Batman movie where he's like the Joker was right in the last I, one. I am gonna just be everybody a about to get it. Everybody about to get it. I'm done just punching. Yeah, it's time to start stabbing. <laughs> Shit, I've made all these cool inventions. How about a gun? <laughs> hey, Lucius Fox, you got some guns for me? Uh, I mean, we don't really have those. Morgan Freeman's in this a lot. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen when people try to shoot? Have you seen the videos of people trying to <laughs> shoot a shotgun and then they don't hold it right? So mm -hmm. the shotgun flies behind them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what I imagine Batman shoots guns like. Because he's never. He's never really used he's never he, He's never even wanted to pick one up. So that he probably just holding it all lazy and then accidentally shoots and like hits himself in the. Have you seen that video of that person that uh, was shooting a Magnum and yeah, then they yeah, yeah. hit themselves in the forehead? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a bunch of those where they just, yeah, just, and it's like, just bow. <laughs> there was one that made me laugh so hard because it was this lady with a, with a rifle, like, on a chair. Mm -hmm. And I, she might have been in a rocking chair. This is the dumbest setup I've ever seen, like, <laughs> wannabe deer stand setup. And it yeah, was a chair. A, a rocking chair is bad for recoil absorption. It's just yeah. more recoil. So that it was a chair, and then it was her in a rocking chair, mm -hmm. and then she shot the gun. Yeah, but it was it was really racked up on nothing. She was re really just letting it lay on the chair. So <laughs> when it shoots, mm -hmm. it knocks her back, and she starts rocking. But then it also made the scope like hit her really hard in the head. Oh. Uh, this one here, this is from Jeremy. Uh, the title is Porta Potty 2. This time, it's Poopstinal. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's a podcast. They can't he see your reaction. You need to sometimes actually. No, okay, it's just, just rolling out, just closing eyes, shaking heads. Just, just read it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been two years. Do you want the voice again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring anything to drink. All right. <clears throat> it's been two years <laughs> since the detective retired from the police force. He's been plagued by the events of the first movie and had to retire early due to intense smell-related trauma. <laughs> His marriage is in the toilet. <laughs> And his kids hate him. <laughs> In order to fix his family, he books them a cruise to enjoy the Bahamas. He paid no mind to the fact it was a carnival cruise, given the circumstances of the poopy butt killer. <laughs> the poopy butt killer. Who routinely struck at fairs, known by some as carnivals shortly after the detective and his family board the ship something starts to stink literally on the third day people start turning up dead in their bathrooms shrouded in a god-awful smell the rest of the movie is the detective playing a game of cat and mouse with the deranged killer who has escaped from prison and wants revenge on the detective for putting him in prison the title would be Porta potty too, boat of a thousand turds. <laughs> and then it's all like big <laughs> text like that. It just says, "I copied this from the notes app, so the formatting is awful." You guys rule. Let's make this incredible film series come to life, Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy. 
Was Carnival the one that they did like sink and got filled remember. with shit? I can't remember which one it was. I don't remember. Because I thought that's where it was going. Was that it was going to be one of those cruise ships? Yeah, that's what I thought. Which I think there's, I think there's still room for that. But I like the idea. This is a real like speed two cruise control situation of like I don't know this time on a boat is kind of I like that that form of sequel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. See now we're bringing current events in. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is y- y'all are <laughs> bringing it this what, episode. Can't pitch you a title that you're going to hate. What's up? Porta Potty 2, Electric Booty Goo. <laughs> this next email. <laughs> Do you get it? Like electric it's from bo- our like, friend. Like Electric Boogaloo. Moss. Like Electric Boogaloo, but I went. The subject line. Booty Goo. In like poopy. The email. Joshua? Like is poopy? Porta Potty number two, a true crime story in parentheses. Okay, who's this from again, though? Say the name again. Moss. Sorry. Moss. Okay. The opening scene is a detective interrogating the perp one last time before retiring. He left him with one haunting message. I was like you once, until one day, I lost control. (laughs) (laughs) Insert time jump. I was just going to say smash cut to him running down a hall. No, 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 (laughs) no. Insert time jump. The detective is spending time with his family at a water park. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These last two have been wet and wild. He thought to himself that he's been so relaxed since retiring. Maybe a little too relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> he was reminded of those haunting words right before feeling the need to go. Running out of the pool... He tripped several families. <laughs> <laughs> and sent them flying like Mario Kart shells. <laughs> After he flushes, he noticed something on his hand. Blood. Oh, thank God. Thus begins <laughs> his trail of toilet terrorism and his collection of bloody toilet handles. His young okay. ex-partner unknowingly is searching after him and turns to the original pooper trader for advice. Pooper trader. I like that. Hijinks ensues. Make it a great day. Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a great day. <laughs> Wait, so so this is... Okay, so at first I thought this was going to be a... I thought it was a prequel, but it seems so. The insert time jump means so. Then the this is another one where the detective becomes the killer again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm trying. I'm literally trying to think of any movie that has done that, where then the cop in the next one is like, "Oh shit, I'm the bad guy now." Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm really trying to I'm think like, about I it. I really see where he is coming from now. I think they might have done it in one of like the Saw sequels or something. Yeah, yeah. Didn't one of them like something become like an acolyte or something yeah, of some Jigsaw of or some shit? It. Something like that. But otherwise, like, yeah. I'd love to see that in like a big yeah. movie. I think it happened in Saw 3, and I'm pretty sure Saw 3 was not good. I think it was Saw. No, Saw 3 was uh, a different person, was the, the traitor. But I think it happens in one of the later ones mm. or something. Um, I've got two more here. I haven't looked at what they say. But. I want you to pick the title of the one you want to read. Because one is just called Porta Potty Sequel. And the other one says Butthole List Detective. (laughs) Yeah, I think I'd like to read the Porta Potty Sequel. You like the Porta Potty Sequel? Okay, so here we go. This is is a short one here. This is from Tatiana. And the title is Butthole List Detective. Hey, Jogan. Just wanted to say... Oh, this one isn't even... (laughs) This is just a review, I think. Hey, Jogan, just wanted to say I almost ate shit up the stairs laughing when Josh started going off about the detective without a butthole. (laughs) 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 I guess I have the humor of a 12-year-old boy, and I'm okay with that. Keep it up, guys. Tatiana. Well, there you go. (laughs) There's the last one for you. Thank you for that review. (laughs) 
<laughs> wow. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Since yeah. we're on the last one, can you hook my uh, headphones back up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just especially if I try to do any voices or anything. Okay. I mean, I can do it too if you want the, the movie voice, but. No, no, no. It's okay. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Okay. It's a very behind the scenes episode, too. We're going to have a lot of. <laughs> So what happens when you record your podcast in a hotel room? Okay, this one is from Jesse, and it's titled Porta Potty Sequel. First time writing in, and I personally think this is the best episode. Big fan of the goofy <laughs> point of view on a serious situation type of comedy. My name is Jesse, and the sequel would be as follows. Our hero, after being able to rid himself of the internal issues... <laughs> and taking that well-deserved shower trudges over to <laughs> you <laughs> sorry getting a phone call now yes hi right, recording with josh Oh, sorry. I thought you were going to be done recording. I was going to see what you were up to. Nope, we're in his room recording, so you're safe to go okay. into our room, though. Okay, I'm getting ready to head home, then. Okie doke. Love you. I love you. All right, Bye. see you in a little bit. I'll cut that out, but... No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, seriously. They need, to, they need to see what we're like. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm just a sweet boy who loves his girlfriend. Um... Our okay, hero, so he, well deserved shower, right? After being able to rid himself of his internal issues and taking that well deserved shower, he can wash away the stink, but can't wash away the memories. Trudges over to his bed to rest up for the night. Oh no. Gets a phone call that wakes him from his sleep with a distressed detective informing him there's been another murder committed in a bathroom, and get this no toilet handle. Our hero's blood turns cold. His stomach knots up and fumbles his response to the agent. What, 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 what do you mean? Yes, sir. This one happened at a gas station a couple of blocks away from the Chipotle. <laughs> Hero says, thank you for informing me, son. I'll be there in a bit. He hangs up the phone and cries angrily into his hands. <laughs> Here's the thing. You know it's happened in like real life, but mm -hmm. it's so funny the idea of somebody getting off the phone, crying <laughs> into their hands, and then showing up. Wherever. Yeah, yeah. Then they're like, all right, now off to work. It's like when y'all were talking about brunch this morning. It's like, imagine if you had called me. It's like, hey, we're going to go to brunch. You want to come? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the lobby in a little bit. And then I cried into my hands. <laughs> and then met you downstairs like nothing happened. <laughs> No. Okay. All right. Boy, this is really an unfortunate angle on me, too. Sorry, now I'm just critiquing the camera that's on me. Okay. <laughs> Cries angrily into his head. Oh, it's an angry cry, too. It's not even just a sad cry. <laughs> oh, you dumb bitch! Uh, furious that he has lost the edge he once had. Oh, yeah, because now that he's released... He's not going to understand oh. how the killer thinks. And so he's crying angrily into his hands because he blew his butt out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> he's expressed his skill. He's, yeah, the he's lost his mojo, baby. The constipation and stomach issues he had were the only thing giving him his drive, but it is gone. An undeserved relief. Wow. That would just be the preface without writing out the whole script. Bullet points as follows would be. Uh... <laughs> anyway, I have this scene. Uh, other shit happens. 
Uh, Hero goes to the county jail to visit the man he arrested, and the man is sobbing uncontrollably, claiming his innocence. It dawns on Hero that he caught the wrong guy. Throw back to the rule of go to a town where someone may mistake you for someone else. Okay, that's a good one. Um, Also, Hero goes to a station to get back on the case, right? Goes back to a station to get back on the case. Chief says in a typical stereotype cop, you're too close to the case. I'm giving it to Jackson, so Hero goes rogue. You're you're a loose butthole, and you play by your own rules. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Nobody can trust you, all right? Nobody can. (laughs) Depends on you. (laughs) Ah, look at this guy getting Um, in on it. Hero goes to Chipotle and bribes the workers there for information, using plumbing supplies instead of cash. That's pretty much all I got. Don't really have puns for the bulk of the movie, but the title would be Poor Two Potty Lingering Scent. Ooh! Ooh! I am a fan of Poor Two Potty is great, and Lingering Scent is wonderful. Thanks for reading, and keep rocking on, guys. Well, Jesse, thank you so much. Yeah! What a way to end... Oh, God. I'm sorry. (laughs) Just threw my phone at the ground. I'm I'm sorry. because I was trying to support it more with my with my index finger, the disrespect. and then it slipped. Okay, but <laughs> no, I know. I, I I hear you. I know. I saw what happened. The floors are carpeted, <laughs> so it's it's all good. <sighs> oh my god! Uh, yeah. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to everyone. Thank you, especially to Jesse, because ending on that one, I think ends the the like run of them really well yeah you know we've gone over some theories we've gone over some really viable sequels Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i think i think the next step which this won't happen for a while so don't don't get too excited but i think the next step here sure is to actually write out right you know like outline a little a little outline a little beat sheet okay okay using you know what's been written in with some of our mm. own sort of flavor and well and i think we have we have enough similar themes throughout these i think pretty much all of these will influence the sequel a little bit because we got a lot of clearly yeah the cop is somehow either becomes the villain or at least has now lost his edge yeah what i liked in that last one too i would love to see a movie do that where literally it's like it's like the, it takes up an hour after the first movie ends and they're just like oh fuck we were wrong <laughs> Because that's how that one is. They're like, oh, shit, the guy we had a whole yeah, thing with. In the first- we had, that guy was just sick. He that- just had some stomach <laughs> stuff happening that we, we grabbed the wrong dude. That would be a way to do a sequel because then you wouldn't have to worry about filling them in on the first movie. You'd be like, listen, everything happened that first one. Forget that. Wrong guy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We got to chase a different guy now. Yeah. <laughs> different killer. Ignore it. You didn't see the first one? Great. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually better if you don't see it. It's the actually first one. better now cuz that was frankly that was a waste of your time. That we made a mistake. <laughs> we we fucked up. Yeah. We made a movie we didn't like. We're trying again. Oh man. Wow. I mean, so we're about we're about 40. Mhm. Do we want to try to fill this in anything else or do we just want to make this a short episode maybe just since this was well, such, no, a, think, such a specific sequel. Yeah, I think we can go over um a couple of different aspects. Okay. That we really liked about, you know, what was written in. So okay. for you, like, just take us through things that you definitely think did happen in the sequel. That you know, we, we'll use this to keep it in mind for when the the sequel is actually made. Something that definitely did happen. Yeah, there are things that you read or I read that you really enjoyed. T- tell me some things that you definitely know happened in the sequel. I don't know if I definitely know, but I do like. I mean, the, the obvious angle would be that oh there's a copycat the cop gets back back into it blah, blah blah he's just in front blah blah i really do love the angle of him just becoming the porta potty killer now because he finally took a shit and now he can't stop and it's led to a world of trouble mm-hmm. i really like that i really think it's on it's on theme no. with okay okay it's it really like it, it it really keeps the heart of the movie which the heart of this movie is the the butt <laughs> but it's all about poop it's all about the poor now, body. now it's all we, about the, the the bathrooms are the main clue right do you think anything about his diet is going to be addressed in the second film i think we have to I yeah, think we have to yeah, address I his think, diet i think that we need to address how much bread jesus christ 
that's my brother. I'm, I'm not going to answer that one right now. But okay. <laughs> Um, everyone's calling me and i have my phone on do not disturb but it's the people in my <laughs> like call list like important people <laughs> yeah no i'm with you yeah it has happened to me yeah so of um, course it's only the people calling me that it rings for yeah i i think we need to address the the amount of cheese that he's probably ingesting you know well and now that he's on the run i think there's a panic of trying to figure out how to stop himself from being, because he's not really trying, he's not becoming the killer on purpose. Mm-hmm, he's mm-hmm. truly, because like we, we covered in the first movies, like that was that killer really a killer or was he just pushing people out of the way? <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. On the way to because, the toilet. Because even at the water park, he's tripped several families. Yeah. Which means he's tripped at least like 27 people. Exactly. Because a family is a unit. So you, yeah. you tripped a lot of people just for it to be one family. Yeah. So if you trip several families. Exactly. You're you're laying waste to some ankles. There's some knees that are never going to be the same. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. No, it is. It, it's you like, just, okay. You, because, the, way, cause, the way you just looked down is you looked like it, it's something you've done. No, the way. no, no, no. <laughs> it's just you see a person change. You see like this character change over time. Yeah. This is someone that wanted to do good. This is an internal battle mm-hmm. that a lot of people in their actual everyday lives are fighting they're fighting to not yeah. become the villain yeah you know yeah so we see it in movies all the time we see it like it's a right. common theme right. in film but in real life there are people who are like am i gonna be not even the villain this person's villain today am i gonna become my villain that i've been chasing the person i've been working to put down have i accidentally become yeah that villain and yeah. in a way it ha- i've seen it happen in front of me just now because Last couple episodes, you've been saying some puns. I've been saying some puns? Yeah. I've said like two. I'm saying you used to say none. No, I would say a couple. But I feel like I've gotten to you. You haven't gotten I to feel, anything. I feel like you You can become, hurry up and go to hell. I feel like the, ice, right. the man with ice powers who hates puns is becoming what the man you, with ice powers uh, who kind of likes puns. No, no. Don't do that. All right? Okay. You're not affecting anything. What does that mean? Okay. You're you're acting like you're having an effect on me. You're not affecting anything. All right. I'm not having. An I'm the same. Me. Wow. What is? I'm an, the same what person. An insult to our friendship to say I'm, I'm not affecting you at I'm all. I'm the same person I have always been. I know, and fuck, I wish you'd change. Really, <laughs> really. I was something. Just one thing. You know. This this is this is classic you, all right. And yeah, what about me? Cla- classic you. I'm trying to dig deep into into plot progression and character development, and you're over here making it about me. Oh, sorry that I made it about you on the show called the Josh Johnson yeah, Show. But how dare it, me to bring uh, Josh see, the Johnson? Sarcasm, the sarcasm into is this. not helpful. All right. <laughs> you see a sarcasm? All right. You forget that you wanted this show to be your name, and you're look, always mad look, when I bring you into it. No, no, I'm not always mad when you, you bring cream, me into you it. You cream or you, drinking you bitch. Used, no, you used it to distract, and you, you like to bring up you, old yeah, stuff. Yeah, you clumsy. You like to, no, you like you to pull up old ass, stuff. clumsy ass, cream See, or drinking. Oh, okay, because you wanted to play innocent. <laughs> you wanted to play innocent like it was just me, but I knew I could. you could feel it too, all right? You were coming at me sideways. <laughs> And I called it out as soon as I saw it. Could help yourself, could you? you know? I wasn't trying to call you out. I was trying to. I was. I was trying to elevate your point by saying I've seen it tie into real life. Mm-hmm. The way you said it, mm-hmm. the way you were trying to say you were seeing me be seen. <laughs> say that again. Came out pretty, pretty uh, insulting. You know, oh, okay. came out came out pretty weird, and then we it, it didn't take long. Mm-hmm. It didn't take long for me calling that moment out. Yeah, to us to get to the creamer and to the, yeah. the clumsy and stuff. Yeah. So you know, I know I know what you think. Uh-huh. All right, uh-huh. I know I know what you think at at any point uh-huh. where you're we're over here, you know, acting like I'm being unreasonable. But I'm just I'm just calling it the way I, didn't I see it. Say you were being unreasonable. No, no but you were looking no, at me like I was being the, unreasonable. The point I the literally sarcasm made sarcasm in your voice. The point I literally made uh-huh. was to say you were being reasonable and making a good point, and I was tying it in to our show. Which sorry no, to look, bother you, but most okay. of these emails were trying in uh, tying in other stuff from our show. How about this? How about yeah. this? How about you slow down and quiet those pluses about- on the point? All right, don't 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 hit me with the point point point. All right. <laughs> You coming at me with the, the point I was trying to point out to you well, when I was making the point. Okay. Yeah. 
So then finally when they discover the detective, the one thing he won't give up Mm -hmm. is drinking creamer because he's a dumb bitch. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Show true colors. Yeah. True colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. This is fun. It's always good getting to see you. Getting to see the real you is what we're getting to see. (laughs) Oh, well, I didn't. I didn't think this movie franchise would tear us apart, but you know, I mean, as soon happens, as, as soon none, as of the, as none of the people in Fast and Furious get along anymore, you know, as soon as large amounts of money get involved, people change. <laughs> large amount. <laughs> we haven't even made the movie or made anything off of it. We're already just assuming it's going to be a hit, so we may as well get to the feud now. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it, this is going to be huge. You're dead to me. Mm-hmm. Before pen ever meets paper. Yeah. What about you? What 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 happened in the sequel for you? <sighs> I think I think for me there was a lot of uh of the detective coming to grips with the fact that maybe he got the wrong person and maybe he understands this person more so than he'd ever want to admit. You know, okay. I think I feel I feel like I even said that in the initial I think so in the you, initial one, yeah. yeah. But I think that now it's obvious. Like now people are almost suspicious of him cuz they're like, "Why do you know so much about butts? You're not a doctor." <laughs> You know, you're not a, a you're not a butt detective. Is this a fascination or is this yeah. a you know like a part time job for you? Why do you know so much? You know how are you always so good at catching them. Yeah. Maybe it's because you think like them, mm-hmm. and so now people mm-hmm. in the department mm-hmm. are turning on them. You know how sometimes when when cops retire, they have that general respect in their old precinct. Yeah, it's almost like being a senior from your high school, and then you you come by to pick something up, and people still remember you though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like that, but he doesn't have that. The precincts turned on him. He was supposed to be a hero cop. This was supposed to be his last job mm-hmm. before he retired. And now they're suspicious. They're like, maybe we got the wrong guy. Maybe you're the guy. Maybe it's not even suspicious. They're just grossed out. Yeah. Like once he figured out how to catch him, everyone's just like, mm, yeah, yeah. Ew. Like he, like he knelt down. He knelt down and like no one wants to shake his hand anymore. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to shake his hand because they 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 start a rumor that he doesn't wash his hands, even though he does. But people are like, no, no, he he don't wash his hands so he could keep his edge. I just I just had a, a horrible visual in my head of just like you know where they dab their pinky to like lick the cocaine. But it's, it's just poopy. Yeah, that's him, all right. I told you it wasn't good. Thanks so much for listening to yeah, the Josh. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We did a crime here. We did, The real crime was committed here. We had a great time recording. I hope you had a great time listening. If you are looking to catch up with us on any of the socials, you can find me at Josh Johnson Comedy on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. We're going to be posting clips of this show. Yeah. And if you're looking for Logan, you can follow me on Instagram at Logan M. Nielsen. And if you want to get into the mailbag, like all those people did, uh, you can email us, Josh Johnson Show at gmail.com. I can't promise we'll read any more porta potty sequels but i mean if you got one you're welcome yeah, we, we'll put you're them in a folder to, yeah we'll, you know? we'll we'll hang on to them i can't promise we'll take up more time uh, yeah we'll archive them but when we're ready to tank our show we'll do this again <laughs> uh no yeah. but, and thank you to everybody who emailed in those were those were all very fun i liked reading all of those yeah those, that was we really appreciate those. all of those Amazing. were all of those were, were top shelf so thank you so much for you sending so, so in for i wasn't expecting i thought we were going to get like two mm-hmm. i was but it was like within within a week of that episode we had all those wow and i was like wow okay oh geez <laughs> uh thanks for listening thank you so much have a great rest of the day and a wonderful weekend Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really supports the channel. Hit the bell notification because apparently it's the only way YouTube will tell you that something happened. And just tell a friend. That's the biggest thing you could do. Just tell one person in your life that you like, maybe you don't like, that this video happened to you. 
We release the podcast every Thursday on all the podcast apps, so you should find us there and subscribe on those and comment and leave reviews and whatever on all of them. And also, if you want bonus stuff, you can join our Patreon, patreon.com slash Josh Johnson Show. We have bonus podcasts and videos and stuff there, and uh, we'd love to see you. 